Hello there, it's Maria from the Riches and Simple Living. Today is Thursday and I'm just going to give you a quick review of what Sean has done today. Um, for maths, which she started in the morning, she has done a block adventure and multiplication mosaic. And it's quite simple, straightforward, times tables, work out the answer and colour it in according to what it tells you up there. Um, I think they're like based on Minecraft type of things i'm not sure they've got that look about them but as you can see i think it's meant to be a person shana's done all of that uh, we've done a few of them we downloaded them from twinkle but this is the last one that we'd got i mean it may seem like easy maths for a year seven child to be doing but sean needs to learn these sort of things she needs the basics really before anything else or if anything else the basics are important so and she has fun doing them as well so that's what we've done we just keep all um this is a little folder that we just keep all odds and ends in like when we've downloaded sheets just to keep in i mean last week we did a remembrance day thing and she did a write-up it is a write-up on world war one and life in the trenches <coughs> oh dear excuse me and uh, another of her comprehensions there and long multiplications i mean she hasn't done all these today tomorrow this morning this was the math she did well this is just an idea of some of the bits and pieces that she's been doing she she did the history of bbc children in need last friday instead of normal history lesson from the book we did that so it had some easy maths like game maths really and she did them for fun and some colouring in. That was last week and we got plenty of pages. Quite good books these are. We got them from B&M. I don't remember how much it was. Less than £2. And I got a few of them. They're handy just to put all the sheets in. Um, then after that she did English. And we were back to the spelling, punctuation and grammar. The key stage 3 book we showed you the other day. I was lifting my phone up then i don't know why i was doing that <laughs> it's not like it was in the way right today um we carried on with apostrophes as you can see i've marked this one already and uh yeah we did that she quite enjoys doing them and we went on to inverted commas and did a page of them see and we'll do some more inverted commas then next week so yeah that's quite a good book and like i said before we'll definitely get another one of those books i'll give you a quick um look at it we did the reading the rose rivers but i'm not going to dwell on it because every time i do i seem to get that as my front cover <laughs> and every vlog this week seems to have had that for the front cover so we just quickly glanced at that. So, yeah, we did another chapter of that today. We're enjoying that. This is her art book. Um, it's one of her old school books, actually. If you can see, the teacher had put on it French, and it was, I think, a year five book originally. But we keep all the books that they used to give us send home because half the time there wasn't much in them, especially if they'd had a new book and then it was time to finish school for that year you got to bring the books home so we just reused the book the paper when there's lots in right so today for art as i've told you before she likes drawing all these country humans like anime things it's made up of different countries and flags this is the one she's done today um would you like to say the name for me please sean what was it you go our garisha you go our garisha yeah <laughs> that's a mouthful um what she does makes the name from the different countries so it's made up of yugoslavia austria hungary prussia and again look at a wise oh dear we're going to have to do practice some handwriting with these wise so yeah that's quite good and she draws them all freehand she doesn't trace them off anything she just does them freehand picks which country she wants and does it from there in her own head so i quite like them although country humans aren't really my thing but 
I do like how she's done them and I love how it's got the hands in the pocket sort of with attitude look <laughs> it's really good I do like them so what she'll do when we have an English lesson then is a write-up she'll um, write about the country won't you Sean and what's don't shake your head the viewers can't see you shaking or nodding oh. your head <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it on there. <laughs> there she is. She's doing another one now. Look, we've finished the art lesson, but she enjoys doing them so much. Do you want to just swing that round, round, Charlotte? Is it similar to what you've just been doing? Yeah, it's the same one I draw for your own collection. Mm -hmm. So she's got a folder there, and she likes doing for her own collection as well as in her art collection. So yeah, I'll just give you an example there of one she's done before. Just to write up about um, the countries, what the countries are made up of, what the rulers are like, countries like, what they wear, climates, just anything she thinks of really that she um, invents for that country, humans, country. You go, Garicia. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. <laughs> I find the other ones easier. I think she's split into two. <laughs> like there. Paulina Scorgen. That was a lot easier to say. <laughs> but yeah, she's done a few of them. So that's what she's done this afternoon. Because, um, as you know, we would have been having um, cooking. Yes, I couldn't think of the word then. Cooking this afternoon. But we can't do it because we've got no gas. Gas men are outside doing nice big old. Don't know if I can actually show you. Let me just go and see if we can see through the window. You can just about see the fencing around what they put. Safety fencing. There's a great big hole behind that. And when a, one of the men stood in it, all I could see was the tip of his white hat. Safety hat. So... So you can't see me. It's because I've been showing you the books. There's Cassie, all crashed out. She's been outside with Dean, who's still working on the duck house. And when all that's done, we'll show you all of that as well. So that's all for today then. And um, hopefully we might film a little bit tomorrow. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think tomorrow's history. Yes. We'll do history tomorrow. So perhaps show you a few minutes of that tomorrow. So thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.